Hello and welcome, Adam Thomas from Balancing Touch Reflexology. So good to see you and thanks for joining me today. Today I want to share with you a project that I've been working on that I think might be useful for you. Let's go take a look at it. So if you're really into reflexology and you've kind of made it past that point where you're just like, you know, I just want to learn some stuff for my family and friends and you want to take it to the next level and work with clients and stuff, well, you need to um, sometime <laughs> look into studying anatomy and physiology. And if you have a great teacher, it can be really an exciting um, topic, right? But if you don't, <laughs> it can be quite a dry, boring topic and hard to kind of work through it, right? And me being a visual learner, it's really hard to pick up an anatomy book and learn anatomy, right? And so I was fortunate enough to have a um, amazing instructor that made anatomy so exciting and stuff. So she um, shared a couple tools with us um, that I wanted to put together for you um, to try and make uh, reflexology and anatomy really exciting to learn, right? And one of the tools, so there's basically two things that helped me kind of get make it through my anatomy uh, component. And that was um, anatomy coloring book. They are, you know, anatomy books and you can get out your pencil crayons and, and draw out the anatomy and also learn at the same time. And this was a really great tool for me because um, visually once I um, could see the image, it, it stuck in my brain. So that's great. Um, if I have to re read a description about it, it's going to take a really long time for me to <laughs> absorb it, right? But if I can get a clear image of it, it's there instantly, right? And so then you need to learn the names. And so another uh, tool that I used was little quizzes or little, um, little flashcard idea type things like that. So I had an idea um, along with another, actually an acupuncturist uh, client of mine and friend, um, said, hey, why don't you make a coloring book, um, reflexology-wise? And so I created this as, a, as the first one. I just did the skeletal system, so that's what I have right now, um, because I didn't know how it was going to turn out and stuff, and I basically had most of it anyway. But um, I wanted to start with the skeletal system, and one of the reasons why is if you look in any of the anatomy books, you know, after you, usually most of them start with the cell, right, the basic building blocks of life. Um, and then when you get into the systems, right, it breaks down all the system, muscular, you know, skeletal and digestive, blah, 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 right? Um, the first system that many books cover is the skeletal system. And I think one of the reasons why is it's just, it gives us a framework, <laughs> literally, of our entire body, right? So it goes all the way, extends to our fingertips, all the way down to our toes, up to our head, right? So we get a whole uh, framework of that. And so once you learn um, how the skeletal system, you know, for example, fits on the feet here, then uh, you have a really deep um, understanding. And once it's in a picture form in your brain, it's hard to forget, right? So you have it forever. So that's a really cool thing. So I thought um, I wanted to put out one little section here of the skeletal system. So what this is, is all the anatomy and stuff um, based on the skeletal system. And also what I've done is created it and based it on the feet. So you'll get the um, anatomy here, for example, of the human body. And later on here, what you'll see is I'll, for example, here's the skull, right? And you can see down here that it's on the feet. So you'll see how that is translated um, as a reflexologist sees it. So not only are you getting your anatomy, you are also going to uh, learn a deeper understanding of where reflexology points and how they reflect onto the feet um, is. So that is what this little book is about here. So we can just go really quickly through some of it. So there's the hands. You can see the hands show up here, all the bones of the feet. Um, and then at the end, you can sort of color it your own way. But as you go through, you'll learn about the bones. You'll learn all different joints, stuff like that. So I've tried to include everything that I can about the skeletal system um, in an easy to color uh, fashion. 
And when you do spend time and color it in, you'll get even a deeper understanding of, you know, how that fits and how that relates to the anatomy on the feet as well. So I just wanted to put that out there to see if it was interesting to you. And so what I've done is I've packaged this up so you can go over to my website, which is balancingtouch.ca uh, and go to the store button. And under there, if you scroll down, you'll see online courses. So I've made this into a, a mini online course. And what you will get is this downloadable um, PDF form that you can print off yourself. So this is not a physical copy. I don't want to spend time and send these all out to everybody. Um, this is, and so that way I can keep the cost um, lower. Um, this is going to be your own thing. So you can download it. Uh, go over to the website, download it, um, print it off, and I've made it so that it's double-sided printing, okay? So you, if you set your printer to be double-sided, that was going to be give you the best results, right? And so then you can get that, and then you can get some pencil crayons and color away and follow the instructions and learn as you go. And then at the end, not at the end, but inside the online course, um, there's some more information about the skeletal system, some others, you know, more in detail or point form kind of outline. So if you um, just read through that, it'll give you another refresher, a different way to um, get the information in your little head. Um, and then uh, there's going to be some information, also a little section on uh, disorders or, you know, issues that happen in the skeletal system, right? So there's another little section there. So it'll be some information on, you know, frozen shoulder or bursitis or what arthritis is, things like that, right? So disorders that happen that are very common in the skeletal system. So then that way, um, when you get clients that have these issues, it won't be, you know, a big, huge mystery to you. You'll kind of be like, oh, okay, I've, I've heard that before. And you can go and look and, and uh, see in the section on disorders uh, what that might be and what it is and and so you'll be familiar with it. So there's a, that little section. And then um, I wanted to have a whole bunch of quizzes for you, okay? So I mentioned before, you know, the way that I learned really well was um, getting the image in my head by, you know, either drawing it out or just seeing visually what everything looks like. And so the you know, anatomy coloring book was a huge help to me. Um, and then also just doing kind of little quizzes or little like um, flashcard type uh, things. And so I've created a little thing at the bottom and you'll see that it's a bunch of quizzes. So you can do a quiz on the hands and feet bones, for example. So you can learn all those because those are going to be really important for you to learn as a reflexologist, right? So when somebody comes and said, oh, they've been to their their physio and they said that their cuboid bone was out, you'll know what that means, right? So it's kind of cool that to look that up. And it, it will also be, that's what I also find really great about this, um, this product here, is that it's a good reference for later on, right? So there's the bones of the feet, right? So you don't actually have to memorize all the bones of the feet. You can have a reference, right? Just as long as you know, you can keep it on your bookshelf back there and pull it out when you need it, right? And so that's also what I've used uh, as well. That's one of the main reasons why I created the, the chart that you see behind me and also the anatomy charts is because um, I can't keep that kind of information in my head. I know what it looks like and I know all that stuff, but remembering the medical names, uh, you know, the Latin and all that sort of names of stuff, it doesn't stick in my brain, right? It's, I have a hard enough time remembering people's names, so how am I supposed to remember anatomy? Um, so I like to have these little things that I've created as cheat sheets, right? So they're tools for us to, you know, so we can focus more on the session at hand rather than, you know, remembering all the points. And if your brain works and you can remember all the points, that's amazing, right? But for me, that's just not the case. So having these little things that I create really help me um, with clients and with my session, right? So this is a, another tool that I wanted to have available for you. So that's what it is. It's the, I'm calling it the Reflexology Anatomy Coloring Book. And you'll also notice here that um, it might be look different from, um, in Canada here, we spell color this way. In the uh, you know, USA, um, 
it's without the U. So just so you know, this is like Canadian spelling. So it's <laughs> it's spelt the, the way that I see it and most of Europe as well is spelt this way. Um, but yes, the Reflexology Anatomy Coloring Book, that's what I'm going to call it. And it is under the umbrella of the Reflexology Visual Dictionary series, which is the chart back there and a bunch of other charts that I have created. And so I wanted to have this available for you and it is now um, on my website so you can go check it out if it's something that uh, would interest you. So again, it's not a, I'm not going to, you know, purchase it and then uh, I'm going to send it out to you. That's not what's going to happen. This is a downloadable and printed off yourself um, virtual copy, basically, right? And, you know, if you want, you can print it off a couple times so you can practice, uh, you know, coloring it out. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today that um, I wanted to also put that out to see if it's actually something that, uh, you know, reflexologists are interested in. Uh, before I go on to create the digestive system and all the other systems of the body, right? But I think it's kind of a fun little tool to have. Um, yeah, so there you go. You can go over to balancingtouch.ca um, slash store uh, and you'll find it under there. You'll also find it under, um, if you go to balancingtouch.ca and online like courses tab and you go down to online courses and you'll see there's a bunch of online courses now. And you'll see it at the bottom. Again, it's the skeletal system and it's the reflexology anatomy coloring book. So there you go. That's I just wanted to share that with you. Um, hopefully it's an interest uh, to you. Um, let me know what your thoughts. Is it something cool? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, reflexology anatomy coloring book. There you go. Remember, to keep those feet happy. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you're interested in learning more about reflexology, you could subscribe to the channel below. It's also very helpful to hit that like button and feel free to share it with anybody who you think might be interested in it. You can find my online courses, reflexology charts, and other reflexology goodies over on my website, which is balancingtouch.ca. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you have some more time, you can check out some other videos. Till next time, this is Adam Thomas from balancingtouch.ca. See you later.